right now in Ohio, an unlikely alliance with a lofty goal. Former Governors John Kasich, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and former U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry are holding their first town hall for their nonprofit organization, World War Zero. Their goal, move the country toward net zero carbon emissions. Their plan, spark millions of climate conversations in 2020, including at town halls like one being held today. We have not had a fair conversation about this in our country. We barely had any, really. Now we have 16-year-old kids striking in schools telling us you adults are not behaving like adults. You're not getting the job done, and they're right. But what you haven't been told is, and this is the discussion we need to have in America, this is the greatest economic opportunity we've ever had. I think the key thing is if we all work together and if we communicate the right way, and if we are inclusive and don't attack each other, I think that we can do it. I see a bright future ahead. You know what the question is for all of you? Are you, you and you and you, are you willing to make a difference and make it uncomfortable for people who are not putting this planet first because our whole life is about providing a better future for our children, for our grandchildren and for our great-grandchildren. And that's why we're here. We all drink the same water and don't fall for those political tricks because that's what they want you to do is to fight. But this is not something to fight over, this is something to fight for. To fight for a clean environment, for a green energy future. It's all about us doing what we can to make a difference. On this issue, we matter, folks. If we prove that we're willing to vote as much as people in other countries where I've been a, a election observer and I've pe seen people stand for 20 hours in a line, in the hot sun with machine guns and tanks around them and the threat of being killed and blown up by a bomb and they just want that purple ink on their thumb that says I voted. I went up to one guy in Sudan, I apologized to him, he had to wait five hours and he said, Senator, I've waited 50 years for this. I'll wait another few hours. That's what we need to do.